Hello folks, welcome to another Steve OJ vlog. <laughs> now today I've decided I'm going to be talking about bullying and my experiences. Um, making somebody's day, with, be it compliment or just doing something nice for them. Um, every person has a story to tell. And then some quotes, which I might read out either during the vlog or maybe at the end, just to finish on. So bullying. Why do people bully? Why? What What do they get out of it? Why do they get a stupid kick out of it? You know, at the end of the day, all you're doing is hurting somebody. You're hurting somebody's feelings. Now, I've been bullied throughout my life, be it for being fat be it for being a bus spotter, which I am, I'll openly put it out there, I'm a bus spotter, more or less always have been and probably always will be. Um, you know, so I've been bullied at school, um, in the past I've been bullied at work, you know, even when I'm just going to town, I've had abuse shouted at me, oh you fat bastard, you fat this, you fat that. You know, when I was at school, oh, you fat bastard, oh, why are you so fat, oh, you need to wear a bra. You know, at the time it hurt. I'm not going to deny that it didn't hurt, of course it hurt. And if I'm honest, that's what made me as big as I am, because I comfort it, like a lot of people do. You know, and sometimes bullying can make people end their lives. Now, I hope if any bullies are watching... That makes you think about what your actions, you know, I mean, calling somebody fat every day for, even throughout school, five years, ten years, think of what that's doing to them mentally, just think, it's ruining their life, because it did for me, but I've got the strength of character, now, didn't then, but now I've got the strength of character to just think, you know what, call me what you want. I know underneath I'm a nice person and I can just rise above the bullying and think, yeah, okay, I'm a good person. You know, I'm a big person, I'm fat. But I need the room because I've got a big heart, big personality and a big heart. You know, I care about people. I'm not just somebody, if somebody's ill in the street or whatever, I'm not somebody who could just step over them. I've got to help. Or if I see somebody struggling, even at the bus station or whatever, I'll help. Why can't more people be like that? You know, we need nice people in the world. We don't need all the hate and all the bullying and, you know, all that. Look, we don't need it. Life treats us badly at times as it is. We don't need people adding to that stress. I'm sorry, but we don't. You know, and like, I've mentioned that I've been bullied at school. Yeah, I did, and work, and out and about in town. I've also received nasty messages on Facebook and, you know, saying that I'm a fat cunt and I should have been killed at birth. Why, 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 why would anybody have to send that? You know, I'm adopted at the end of the day. I don't know who my mum and dad are. Obviously, I've got a real mum and dad now who I absolutely adore to bits. But as for my biological parents, I don't know them. I don't know what happened to them. All I know is my real name, my date of birth, when I was adopted, and the actual place I'm from. So for somebody to say, oh, you should be drowned at birth, you know, that's horrible. Because there's some people out there who can't even have kids. So, when somebody's been lucky enough and fortunate enough to actually have a kid, why would you then say something like that to them? Come on, think about your actions. Please. No more bullying. No violence. We don't need it. The world can cope without violence. The world can cope without bullying. So come on. If you can't say anything nice, then don't say anything at all. You know, if you want to be nice and give a compliment and make somebody's day, fantastic, do it. Do it. Seriously, do it. 
if if you can help somebody, even if it's just asking them, are you okay? Do it, please, do it. It will make somebody's day. You know, every day is for living. Every single day. You shouldn't regret a single day of your life. You know, it is for living. You only live once. So please, come on, think about your actions. And it's like sometimes, you might see somebody smiling in the street, like me for instance. You might see me walking down the street with a smile on my face. And you know, people smile back. But take a second look at that smile. Is it a smile of happiness? Or could it be a smile that's hiding pain? You know? Could it be that that person's been strong enough to come out, put a smile on the face, but really deep inside, in here, is hurting? I know at times I do it. I might walk out and you might see me. You might see me walking down the street, you know. Big beaming smile on my face with my music on and being myself. But am I? Inside, not really. Lately it's took me all my courage to actually get out, you know, because I have been a bit down lately and, you know, obviously it's coming up to a year for my granddad dying, so I do find it hard to smile and things at the minute. But I manage. But every person has a story to tell. Every single person has a story to tell. So don't judge anybody. Don't judge anybody unless you've walked a mile in their shoes. Because you really don't understand that person. You really do not understand that person. Because, as I've said, people do hide behind a smile. So next time somebody smiles at you, think, is it a real smile or are they hiding something? If you think you're hiding something, especially if it's a friend, if you think they're hiding something, maybe just take them aside and just say, you know, you're all right. And if they say, yeah, but you have a sneaky suspicion, just say, come on, be honest with me. I know you're not. You're hiding something. Try and get them to open up about it because a problem shared is a problem halved. You know, which it is really. Because, you know, if I don't talk to anyone about things that I feel down about, 